is what firefighters found as they arrived on scene the morning of 9-11-2001, the deadliest terrorist attack on U.S. soil. New York firefighter Tim Brown was in the lobby of, the, of Tower One when the second plane hit. He survived. 93 of his firefighter friends did not, and that was just his firefighter friends. They died with hundreds of others, including a lot of folks that Tim knows that day, in an act of war. It was war. And he is upset with the White House's decision to bring the accused 9-11 terrorists onto American soil to be tried in a civilian court with the full constitutional protections of the United States. The former firefighter and founder of TheBravest.com is joining us now. And Tim... Um, eight years ago, but it seems for you, and we were just saying, you know, a lot of people, it starts to fade. Right. For you, it's just, it's right. still we're, right we're still there directly involved, and, uh, you know, I, I'm still uh, very close with a lot of the families, and uh, we live this every day. You know, we, we try and move forward with our lives also, but uh, it still hurts us in our heart. And, and what's, what this is doing is this is just opening up wounds of, of the families. And the firemen, like me, and the, and the police officers, the Port Authority police officers lost 37, and, and uh, NYPD lost 23. And, you know, we're just opening this back up. It's unnecessary. I don't understand what's driving this and why we need to do this. What's your, what's your most vivid memory of that day as we take a look on the right side of the screen there? I mean, right. that's, that's what I remember because I was in California watching. Right. You were My, right there. Yeah, I mean, the, the part I remember is when Tower 2 got hit uh, by the second plane, we knew immediately that this was an act of war. How did you know that? We just, we knew they were coming after us and we were scared. We, we at that moment knew we were all gonna die. I, I was lucky. And Chief Burns, who I went into Tower 2 with, uh, didn't make it and I was, I was just lucky and I made it. I tried to call uh, the White House to try and get air cover. You know, it's not something the NYPD was handled to or was prepared to handle. You knew the military you know? should be coming in Absolutely. immediately. Right there. And so how can we now say this was not war, that this was a civilian uh, action and they should be tried in civilian court? It's, 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 it's disgusting. What's your, biggest, what's your biggest fear about these men, these five men, including the mastermind, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed? What's your biggest the, fear about them being brought into a courtroom just a few short miles away from absolutely. Ground Zero? It's, it's, an, it's an insult. It's an insult to, to the, the victims, to the firefighter victims, to the civilian victims. It's, it's an insult to the families that still survive. And why is it an insult? Explain why. Because we're bringing them back here. And you know what's going to happen? They're going to sit there in that courtroom, courtroom and they're going to spew their hatred for the United States. They're going to mock the families. They're going to mock the victims. Uh, uh, and they're going to bring, drag us through this pain again. And it's just totally unnecessary. We don't need to see this. It's, it's, somebody needs to put on a show here, and I don't understand why we're doing this. This is something that you have been following because you do have a, a website, an organization. Right. Why do you think that they aren't being brought to a military tribunal? What's, what well, do you think the reason is? Well, I'll, I'll tell you, um, you know, it's, it's a campaign promise of Obama, m misguided. Uh, what do you think if, the reasoning if, is for him? Well, What's I, the motivation? I will just say this. A, a, a video of support for this position showed up two days ago out of the ACLU. So apparently they knew this was coming and uh, they, they, th they put a couple of family members on to, dis to be on their side of it. I'll tell you what, we've got over 5,000 people in 36 hours that signed up with us and this is just beginning. Uh, we, need, we need people to sign up with us. We need people to go to thebravest.com or 9-11 uh, Families for a Safe and Secure America or keep America safe uh, and sign up with us, get behind us, and help us fight the Obama administration with us. Bill has asked this question to a couple of our previous guests in the previous hour, so I'll, I'll take a, a cue from him and ask you sure. this as well. Is it possible that they could get a fair trial, a, a trial that is not is not unfair to the U.S. people, the, pa the family members, <laughs> even lost if, people. Even if they do, which I don't think they will, I, I don't think it's possible. I think things will, things that happen in a, in a, in a war don't necessarily follow the rules of a civilian court. And, and this has already been done. So uh, we, the only thing we're going to do is give them a stage to mock us, to mock what America is about and to mock freedom. And and it makes me sick to my stomach. So we need we need the American people behind us. I think we do. What do you want? Them. What do you want the American people to do? You say go to your website. Right. What Sign up. We, we wrote a letter to uh, President Obama, and we have over 5,000 people that have signed the letter in the last 36 hours. Uh, we need people to go there and to sign the letter and support us. And then we will be in touch with them. And this grassroots movement will be a voice to be heard. Very quickly, you say the Obama administration has not been tr truthful. Why? What do you mean? 
Well, it, it's it's uh, they've not told. Uh, well, forthright. They've not been forthright with what can happen here in, in, the, in the rules and, and the right to a speedy trial and the constitutional stuff that, that I'm not an uh, um, expert on, but it, it's, we're trying to bring war criminals into a civilian court, and it, it's not going to work. Tim Brown, thank you for joining us Thank today. you, Julie. Sorry for nice your loss. Nice to meet you. Once thank again, you. nice meeting you. Thank you. Bill.